Hi there, it's Nicole from Mama Elephant, and today I'm so excited to share with you an Easter card featuring the brand new The Bunnies Hop stamp set and coordinating dies. Just like the cats, the dogs, the snowmen that Mama Elephant has come out with, they now have adorable little bunnies in this great little border. So much fun. If you don't want to use it in the landscape format, I am a huge fan of kind of using just a little chunk of the border design and tipping it and making it a portrait style card. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm stamping my border on some smooth white cardstock. I lined it up previously, you know, before I inked it up, kind of knowing where I wanted it to cut off. I'm going to go ahead, stamp that with a black ink for Copic coloring trim uh, out my die, get rid of anything there that's inside that great big die, and go ahead and die cut this. That way I have a really good idea exactly what it looks like, and I can go ahead and color this in. Now, I'm showing a background that you're probably like, that's not the background that you used, and it's not. I had started my card thinking I was gonna be using this bright green and yellow background, um, very springtime feeling, inked it up and you know laid out my my die cut border on it still looks good went ahead started coloring my ch coloring in the chicks with some yellow markers here and real quick any color of marker i am using is shown across the top of the screen so for easy reference if at any time you're wondering what i'm using that is where it is the problem with this card came into or the problem with the background i guess i should say came when I started coloring in the bunnies. Because to this point, with the bright yellow chicks, the bright orange carrots, the bright greenery of the tops of the carrots, this all looks good on the bright background. And I think if I had maybe stuck to a very, very, very light, um, either blue or even a gray, maybe a cool gray, outline for the bunnies and really not added much color at all, I might have liked this border on that background. Now, I'm not going to throw that background away. It's a fantastic background. I really love it. It just didn't go with this border. Sometimes that happens. And I left it in because I wanted you guys to see the difference. I did not start this card thinking I was going to make an elegant Easter card. That's the title of this video because partway through designing this card, everything completely changed and that's totally okay. Sometimes when we're designing, things just take a little bit of a U-turn and you change up your initial thought um, or your initial idea. And there is definitely no right or wrong way. I think I would really like to go ahead and create that background or that border rather that I was talking about and pop it onto a card just to show the complete and total difference between what this card ended up being, the elegant card, to something that maybe is a little bit more playful and fun. I think where the, I hate to say problem, but the difference came in is I really wanted to keep the colors of the bunnies very very light with light or warm light warm grays and very very light earth tone colors using a couple of my favorite color combinations i did list those out here a second ago when i colored in the majority of the bunnies i am not going to do them all on camera just to save time but when with those two color combinations and then the addition of some peachy pinks and not really a bright pink I think it really lent itself much more towards that elegant type of feel. And I struggled a little bit trying to figure out what kind of background would look good, what color I wanted to use to really set off this border. This is the star of the show for this card. This border is a big, bold, prominent border. If you're using any of the other border dies from Mama Elephant, you know they take up the majority of the card design. They are very, very prominent. So I wanted something that would show them off. I decided on Tattered Rose. I pulled out Dried Marigold and I didn't think it was quite right, but Tattered Rose is what I settled on. And it's a kind of dusky pink color. You may not 
think of it immediately for Easter, but I loved how it set off the browns and warm grays of my Copic markers. So I definitely liked it at this point. I decided to go ahead and grab my black jelly roll pin and go over the eyes on my bunnies. Now, I was planning on doing it anyway, but if you ever have a little too much ink come out of the tip of your pen when you're kind of accentuating the eyes, something you can do to fix that is turn those eyes into like, I kind of say quote unquote female eyes by adding some eyelashes with a fine tip pen. I kind of had a couple little accidents where there was like a little glob and it didn't look very good. And so to fix that up, I'm gonna add eyelashes to some of these bunnies and just kind of have some fun with accessorizing or really accentuating some of the areas on these cute little guys. I added little, or the black for the eyes, the fine tip black pen for the eyelashes, and then I'm gonna take a white opaque pen and add dots to the cheeks on all of these guys. Just a fun little way to add a nice little accent I'll even take my white pen and add some accents to the heart, to the crown on one of the bunnies, to the half cracked egg that one of the chicks is coming out of, and even to the bows in some of the bunny's ears. How cute are those little bows? Adds a nice little bit of detail. You can go as crazy or as minimal as you want here. The sky is really the limit. I also think that maybe that bright background, it would be fun to color the bunnies in um, a whole assortment of bright colors instead of going the more traditional or um, realistic route. I think it would be fun to do pinks and blues and yellows and greens and oranges and really go wild with these cute little bunnies. So here is my border all finished. I've got all of that done. I wanted to share those backgrounds side by side so you could really see the difference and see how much better that pink background really looks with this particular colorway. I also spritzed my background with water from a distress sprayer. To add a little bit of kind of distressing, I don't think the Tattered Rose distresses quite as much as some of the other inks. It is a very light color, but there's it's going to give some nice light areas in that background and make it not quite so perfect. So here is the Happy Easter die. I love that there is these dies from Mama Elephant that come with the coordinating dies. There is not a sentiment in the stamp set that matches this. It's just the sentiment that comes in the die. And I think that is phenomenal. I absolutely love it. I die cut mine from gold foil cardstock that has been attached to fun foam with stick it adhesive. If you've watched any of my videos, you guys probably already know this is my favorite way to add a scripty type of sentiment die cut sentiment I love the dimension of them and I had some scraps of gold foil cardstock in fact I have several scraps I kind of had to piece it together um, with the happy and the Easter and then I'm gonna take a sentiment from the previously released photo bomb stamp set this is quite I may maybe even gosh a year and a half, two years old, I don't know. But I love mixing and matching and I think Happy Easter from all of us with this kind of a border is awesome. So I'm gonna stamp from all of us right there above the bunnies using a clear embossing ink and then heat emboss this with antique gold embossing powder before I adhere those scripty dimensional die cut sentiments to my card. By doing any embossing before you add anything else, you don't have to worry about the embossing powder maybe getting stuck to parts of that and kind of ruining the look of the card. If at all possible, I'm a big, big fan of doing your stamping and embossing before you add anything else, just so any of those little flakes of embossing powder don't get on the rest of your design. So there's my background with my little stamped greeting. I can go ahead and pop the Happy Easter in place now. Because I have stick it adhesive on both sides of the fun foam, it makes these dimensional stickers. 
I'm just popping out the insides with the Spellbinders tool in one die. This is a great little tool. It has that nice little piercing tool. Um, that roller end you see there, if you've got a delicate die cut design where maybe all the little pieces don't pop out, you can just roll that over it and it helps pop them all out. It's a handy dandy little tool. I really love it. So once I have all of the little inside pieces from all the loops popped out, I am going to put this in place and that is going to add the sentiment to my card. At this point, I'm pretty much done. I've got my border to add, place this on a top fold or a side fold card base, whatever you prefer. I tend to like a top fold card base with a portrait style card and you can be done. Now I decided to pop up my bunnies for a little dimension where I've got a dimensional greeting up high. I thought adding a little bit of dimension down low would be fun as well. And I really like to cover mine. I don't want there to be any little dips or divots if this, if I'm mailing this, which more than likely I am. I have found that sometimes if I don't have a nice kind of flat dimensional background, it will kind of get ruined. So two things you can do, you could use a little less foam adhesive, put it through a padded envelope. You could put it through a regular envelope if you do um, cover the back of it like I did here. It, it just kind of is whatever you prefer. So there is my background. I'm gonna take the Nouveau Glitter Gloss Aqua Shimmer Pen. This is clear aqua shimmer and add a little bit more detail to my bunnies. I thought it'd be fun to have some have a little bit of sparkle and shine. I've got my glossy accents here. I kind of forgot to use it at this point, but I will come back to that because I think the bunnies noses need a little touch of glossy accents. But I felt like the top of the card really needed to be finished off with some little drops, um, almost like confetti scattered in the air saying, happy Easter from all of us. And I'm doing that with some pale gold Nouveau crystal drops and creating these in all kinds of different sizes all over the top of my card. I love the Nouveau Crystal Drops. They are just fantastic, a great little finishing touch, so easy to use. Keep in mind, if you use them, it will take about 24 hours to completely harden. So if you are gonna need to mail a card right away, I would suggest using something else, maybe adding sequins or gemstones or um, pre-made enamel dots. But if you've got the time to spare, go ahead and create your own in any size that you need. I am going to add this to a top fold card base like I mentioned. I'm gonna finish with a little dab of glossy accents on all the bunny's noses. And that is gonna finish up this elegant Happy Easter card featuring the Mama Elephant, the Bunny's Hop Stamps and Dies. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Mama Elephant Stamps and Dies that you might be interested in. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.